this is the day of the dyno. We're going for a thousand horsepower plus. Whatever the max this car can do, we're going to do it. And at this moment, that max is pretty low. These are the spark plugs and they are corroded. Thankfully to a lot of you in the comments, you mentioned spark plugs, you know, ignition breakup, and that's exactly what it seems to be here. Not only did I have some wires that I was making sure were tightened up, just checking the spark plugs sure shows there were some issues. This whole electrode was covered in some nasty carbon, and that's because of that damn trigger wheel we just replaced. And you think about it, we were just flooding the car, flooding the car, flooding the car, firing up randomly. If there was carbon, we were creating it. So you can see there's just a distinct layer of carbon. These are on the trailing plugs, so they are important, but they're not like the, the game changers. There's still, look at all that carbon right there. At worst case, we're gonna just replace the plugs, the wires, the coils, and my wiring harness. That's at worst case. <laughs> I'll be honest though, I'm pretty nervous. I think it'll do it, dude, honestly. We even bust an ass on it. We've been, we were at, I feel like you're making fun of me, dude. <laughs> we were at 980 last time. Tons of broken parts, fuel system maxed out, smaller street port, same wiring harness. Just pointing that part out. This is like super trashy car, but it's one of the most powerful rotary engines in the world. <laughs> and you think about it, really. Everybody else is like in the reasonable, realistic ranges. 700, 500 if you're really just being smart with the rotary engines. If I was anybody else, I wouldn't expect to find any of this wiring for level of in, imprecision. You guys talking big talk. <laughs> it's big talk if we end up hitting a thousand. We're gonna cut all this out if we don't. I'm gonna grab my laptop. I'm gonna fire it up. We'll see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Let's just see. Wish me luck. Wishing you luck. Heart ran great, boosted about 20 PSI. <laughs> okay, here we go, come on baby, be good to me. Jarrett and I both filmed with our iPhones, but you can hear how piercingly loud this car sounds. What I should have done was stayed in the gear longer. As soon as I get about 4,500 RPM, I let off. In that moment, you do feel it stumble a little bit. I don't know if it shows well on camera, but you certainly can feel it. I am hoping that with cleaning all those spark plugs up, there's a problem solved. Have you driven it yet? No. no. It's not that he's afraid. He's just afraid of my work. <laughs> there's a big difference between being afraid of that car. It's on fire. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> That's kind of what I was feeling the other day. <laughs> you made your point. You made your point. You want to know the truth? What? And when I first fired the fuel system, it started just spraying out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it started leaking. And so I tightened the fittings all the way. It had two drops. <laughs> two drops? Yeah. You know, SpaceX rockets, they use their fuel to cool down the yeah. rocket. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the theory I apply here. <laughs>
to check timing just to make sure that Dirt and I didn't do anything wrong, but we're double, triple checking that. Anybody? Move the number like three, three numbers. Other way. Drop. Yeah. You are retarded 40 degrees. Hard. 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 I'm retarded. <laughs> Decent. Uh, all the things that we've changed are decent, but we've got something with ignition happening. It's certainly replaced the alternator, even though that is a newer alternator. It's just not doing the job. It doesn't kick up the 14 volts. It doesn't stay consistent. I'm doing the alternator. My boy Jared is getting new plugs. I'm gonna get the wrong one. He's gonna fuck <laughs> up and get the wrong ones. <laughs> What, you might ask? Brand new RX-8 plugs. You're hearing it right, RX-8. I'm gonna use these for new leading plugs. I'll pull the ones we just cleaned out out. So I swapped the alternate number, I forgot to plug them back in. <laughs> Had to get the stubby one. Okay, I'm gonna put the Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> thing rolled out in front of me. It's nice to have these brand new ones, but those other ones only had like 20 minutes maybe of runtime on them. You know when you saw Able testing all six uh, coils? You know what he was basically doing? What? Saying that my wiring was really good. He said it. I mean, he said it. I mean, not in those exact words, but he said it. We have to sell a version of this hoodie with like black sleeves. Why black sleeves? Because <laughs> of all the dirt we're getting on them. All the plugs are swapped. You ever see that cameraman that follows like Usain Bolt? And like he's almost as fast as Usain Bolt, but he's actually carrying a camera. Anyway, that's a good cameraman if I ever heard one. We've got an intake pipe definitely popped off or something like that. Yeah, right there. Oh, that was nuts. You're so excited that you're winded? <laughs> oh yeah, see? Yeah. Okay, fix it. Okay. We can go back out again. Jared, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it blew off when I went to third, Rob. Yeah. Because second gear, we saw stuff come out the wastegate, so I had to boost. Yeah. Maybe a little water to help it fly. Yeah. So it dries up. And, uh, that was zero boost. That was zero boost. It was just kind of become a meme. Just so you guys know, that was zero boost. <laughs> zero pounds of boost. That thing was going fucking fast. Oh god, yeah. Zero pounds of boost. Yeah. Did I tell you it was zero pounds though? <laughs> you won't believe this, but Abel told me while driving back in that it was zero pounds of boost. <laughs> yeah, I didn't capture any of the runs, but I got you guys coming back through the driveway. <laughs> We're a car channel, god damn it. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> it's supposed to be at. That'll go in. Just make sure you stick it in. Put some spit shine on it. So it's nice. <laughs> okay. I suck at this. <laughs> <laughs>
still? At least it's boosting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the pipe came off again, I told you. Yeah. Yeah, I told Isaiah already we're gonna fix that in the morning. Okay. But let's just look at the plugs. At least it did boost. Yeah, it came off at the top of the third. I felt it. Yeah. Um, we're pulling the plugs we just put on to do a analysis of what's going on with them. I did see on the logs we hit 30 PSI. Uh, oh, fuck. We, uh, <laughs> we did hit 30 PSI briefly. Rob is a pussy. <laughs> He gets scared in his own car when you step on it, and we're not even going fast. <laughs> I don't even let anyone to know. I'm not gonna watch the video. There you have it, guys. This is nuts. You get action, you get safety. Nothing blew up. <laughs> we're good. We are good. So tomorrow is the dyno. This is real deal. She's already 10 times better than she was before. There was our break in at 30 psi. But dude, I thought the dyno was supposed to be today. Oh, for, Jared, thank you, thank you. So Jared brought this up a good point that the dyno was supposed to be today. Uh, it wasn't, um, but that was more so my fault. And as much as it's cool to bring entertainment right now, it's even better to have a car that I can make more videos on next week. <laughs> and so <laughs> we are in really great shape. So, you know what, you know what, Jared? Edit this in. This will make up for not having a dyno today.